We are back with another episode of Extraordinary Attorney Wu. We are going to explain episode 2 in this video, where Young Wu will take her second case. You can also watch our episode 1 explanation video, the link is in the description box. The drama is currently streaming on Netflix for international viewers and ENA in Korea. Episode 2 starts with a by wedding ceremony, while the bride and groom are walking their wedding march when the bride suddenly spots someone and gets distracted, she steps on her dress, which slips down exposing her upper body, the groom's grandfather who is a Christian then spots a tattoo of Bodhisattva on the bride's back. The incident is all over the news, Young Wu and her father also see the news. Guang Ho asks Young Wu, would she like to wear that dress, point at the TV screens? She asks the same question to her father. He further tells her that every father's dream is to walk his daughter to the aisle. But our young Wu is more interested in topics of whales than humans. The father of the bride comes to Hanbada law firm to file a case and wants to sue the hotel for damages. And demands 1 billion won compensation. He tells them that the hotel has offered to refund the 230 million won spent on the wedding as well as compensate the couple with an additional 10 million won hotel voucher. While young Myung Suk and CEO Han thinks that the compensation is valid, the father compares Han Bada to Taesan Law Firm. This piques Han's competitiveness as she takes up the case for a billion won compensation. Myung Suk brings this case to the rest of the team and reinforces how difficult this is going to be to try and get 1 billion in damages. He splits the team into two, one team is to go and talk to the couple while the other is to go to the hotel undercover and find clues. Min Wu and Young Wu make their way to the couple for questioning while Su Yun and Jun Hong go to the hotel. Min Wu and Young Wu first go to meet the bride Kim, where she mentions the wedding dress was loose when she first tried it on and so the hotel staff used pins to try and tighten it. As for the guest list, that was all handled by her father and it appears none of Kim's friends were invited. Young Wu asks her, do you love your husband? She has noticed that none of the pictures of her husband are actually around the house, and she's even removed her wedding ring. This would seem to indicate that it could well have been a planned wedding and not one made out of love. After meeting the groom, they realize that the wedding was a decision of their families. The groom adds that his grandfather felt betrayed when he saw the tattoo as he is a devout Christian and is insisting on breaking the marriage. The groom also informs them about the psychiatric help the bride is taking. Meanwhile, Su Yun heads out with Jun Ho Su Yun ends up with a bad stomach. Upon reaching the hotel she rushes to the toilet, Young Wu brings her new trousers to wear in the female toilets. However, Su Yun who can't go to the wedding reservation due to her bad stomach. Young Wu takes her place. Su Yun overhears an employee talking in the toilets about how Ju Hui, one of the employees at the hotel, was fired because of the dress mishap. She lets Jun Ho know, who in turn quizzes one of the employees, Ji Hai, about this. Wedding team leader asks Jun Ho to come and see the dressed up Young Wu. Young Wu and Lee Jun Ho at a bakery when they spot the employee from the hotel's wedding team and try to get the fired employee's contact information. However, they face disappointment when they get to know that she has left the country. Su Yun and Min Wu trying to convince bride's psychiatrist to testify in the court which he refuses. The scene shifts to the courtroom where the trial is held. Lee Jun Ho gets the employee they had met to the court as a witness from the plaintiff's side. She testifies that the incident was not completely an accident as the head of the wedding business team knew that the dress was ill-fitting as it was not the bride's dress but someone else's. On the morning of the wedding, Ms. Kim's dress was actually torn. And they replaced with another similar dress. After this statement, the plaintiff's side feels more positive about the case until the defendant's side calls upon the bride to the stand. There they reveal that the bride had made posts on a website called Waggle about how she had ruined her own wedding. Back at the office, Myung Suk's team hold a discussion with the bride and asks her to reveal anything else that she is hiding. She tells them that this wedding was more of a deal for her father as the groom's grandfather had promised to give her land as a wedding gift. Young Wu catches this and points out that they can now apply for compensation for special damages as the bride was promised land. The incident has caused her a loss of land worth billions of won and that is compensation that they can request. 
She then leaves after being asked by Young Myung Suk to write a statement of opinion which they can then show to both families. The next day, in the courtroom, they tell the news to the bride's father who then reveals the estimated value of the land to be 33.2 billion won. However as the amount is too much for the judge to make a ruling on, they will make a request for 10% of the total worth. The father is pleased, but the bride is not happy about how her opinion does not seem to matter in this case. The scene shifts to the courtroom again where young Myung Suk succeeds in proving that promise was made by the groom's grandfather. He is about to win the case when the bride stands up for herself and states that she would like to withdraw the lawsuit. This was actually something Young Woo gave her advice when asked earlier on in the episode. Miss Kim then confronts her father that the tattoo was no mistake as she is Buddhist and that she also confesses that she is a lesbian. The woman next to her is not her friend, but someone she loves. She stopped at her wedding when she saw her in the crowd. Everyone present is shocked as she leaves with her girlfriend together hand in hand, while the whole lawsuit is thrown out. The team then goes for a meal from where Wu Young Wu gets a takeout for her father. At home, she gives her father the gimbap takeout while telling him that it would be hard for her to get married in the future due to her autism. Elsewhere at Taesan Law Firm, the CEO was being interviewed after which she receives the news that the bride's father had withdrawn all his cases and given them to Hanbada. She finds out that an attorney named Wu Young Wu succeeded in making the case a billion one one which piques her interest in Yun Wu. And the episode 2 ends right there. Thank you for watching guys, like and subscribe, we will bring more explanation videos.